Now the question number seven is: A person works seven hours and gets seventy-five dollars. How much he is paid for one hour? So we will solve this question as. For seven hours, he get seventy-five dollars, and for one hour, this will be equal to seventy-five divided by seven. So we will divide this. You can also use the calculator to solve this. Then so up to two decimal is enough. So answer is ten point seven one four for this. Now we will solve the question number eight. Now the question number eight is: ABC is a straight line. Find the value of x. So we know that angle in a full circle is equal to the three sixty, and half of the circle is equal to the one eighty. So we can say that if total angle is equal to the One eighty, so one eighty is equal to the x plus one fifty. It means x will be equal to one eighty minus one fifty, which is equal to thirty degree. So this will be the answer. Now we will solve question number nine. Question number nine is distance reading is given one three five two six and one three nine. Eight two miles. This is for start and this is for end. Cost of fuel for one mile is seventeen pounds. Find the cost for whole journey. So first of all, we will measure the distance. So distance is equal to the end minus start. So one three. Nine eight two minus one three five two six. This is equal to the four fifty six miles. So cost for one mile is seventeen, which implies that four fifty six mile. Cost is equal to the seventeen multiply by four fifty six. So this will be equal to seven seven and five two. Now we will solve question number ten. Now question number ten is set one and set two is given that C R T and W F J. Write all combination and take pair as one from each set. So you will choose one from the set one and the other one from the set two. So first of all, we will write the pair of C that are C W or C F and the C J. Then R W, R F, and R J. Then T W, T F, and T J. Just we have attached each one. Like this to make the combination. Now we will solve question number eleven. Question number eleven is two point 
278 people go on a school trip 18 on trip or adults and 40% of the children wearing hat find number of students not wearing hat so we will find the number of children not wearing hat such first of all number of adults are equal to the 18 and total minus adults is equal to the children it's mean 278 minus 18 is equal to the children so this is 260 now the next thing is given that 40% of children wearing hats and 60% will be not wearing hats so we have to find the number of students so total number of students are 260 we will solve this as 60 so is equal to the let x pose not wearing hat divided by total number of students that are 260 so we will multiply 60% multiply 260 percent can be represent by 100 and off represent by multiplication 0 and 0 are cancel out so 26 multiply 6 is 156 so 156 children are those who are not wearing hats now we will solve question number 12 Now the question number twelve is: A person find the area of rectangle equal to one seven six four by given the reason that six multiply seven multiply six multiply seven equal to one seven six four. Explain how this is wrong. So the formula of area for a rectangle is equal to the length multiply width, which is six multiply seven. and that is equal to 42 cm square so we will not multiply all the sides just multiply only the length and the width to get the area so this will be the right answer now we will solve question number 13 now question number 13 is given write the numbers in order of size start with smallest so first of all 5 by 8 can be write as 0.625 and 0.63 can be write as this one and 62% can be write as 0.620 3 by 5 can be write as 0.600 and 0.1615 can be write as as it is so first of all we will write the smallest number that will be this one and greater than this is and then this will be the 4 and this will be the 5 so we will write the answer as 3 by 5 then 0.615 then 0. Point or 62% then 5 by 8 and then 0.63 so this will be in the ascending order now we will solve the question number 14 now in question number 14 a offer is given that for 25 liter two bags are 4.80 pounds and the three bags are 11.70 pounds so you have to find which offer is better so for first one you have two bags 
डेट आर इक्वल टू द फिफ्टी लीटर एंड फिफ्टी लीटर ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस इज फिफ्टी लीटर एंड प्राइस इज गिवन फोर पॉइंट एट जीरो फॉर फिफ्टी लीटर नाउ फॉर थ्री मल्टीप्लाई दिस बाई थ्री इट विल बी वन फिफ्टी एंड फोर पॉइंट एट जीरो मल्टीप्लाई बाई थ्री इक्वल टू द वन फोर फोर जीरो पाउंडस सो फॉर द अदर फिफ्टी लीटर बैग्स थ्री बैग्स इट्स मीन वन फिफ्टी लीटर एंड प्राइस इज इलेवन पॉइंट सेवन जीरो पाउंड सो दिस ऑफर इज बेटर बिकॉज दीज आर एक्सपेंसिव नाउ वी विल सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन नाउ द क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन इज गिव ऑन डैट अ रेक्टेंगल एंड आइसोलिस ट्राइंगल इज गिव ऑन सो the parameter of the rectangle and the triangle are equal you have to find the value of x and the area of the rectangle so first of all we will solve this for the parameter of the rectangle parameter of rectangle is equal to the x plus x plus 5 plus 5 that is 2x plus 10 and the perimeter of triangle is equal to the 8 plus 8 plus 12 that is equal to the 16 plus 12 28 so both are equal it's mean 2x plus 10 is equal to 28 2x is equal to 28 minus 10 and this is 18 which implies that x is equal to 18 divided by 2 9 so value of x is 9 now this is 9 and this will be also 9 you have to find the area so Area of rectangle is equal to nine multiply five, which is forty-five centimeter square. Unit is centimeter. So this will be the answer. Now we will solve the other part of this question. Now in question number fifteen, the volume of cuboid is given two thirty-one centimeter cube, and Diagram is also given. You have to find the value of W. So volume is equal to length multiply width multiply height. We will substitute the all values. Two thirty one is equal to the six multiply seven multiply W. So six seven zar forty two multiply W two thirty one. So two thirty one is divided by Forty two, you will get the answer of W. That will be eleven by two, and that is five point five. So this will be the answer. Now we will solve the question number sixteen. Now question number seventeen is expand y into y minus six. So this will be equal to y multiply by y that is y square minus six y. So this will be the answer. If you found this video helpful, subscribe Math Solver Triple One Seven and also press the bell icon to get notification for all upcoming videos. In the next video, we will solve the most important questions that are in your exams. Stay tuned. Best of luck for your exams.